Alright, these are the top three arcs in the entire Naruto series. The first one is the five Kage Summon. And this arc is so good because, you know, obviously, you know, you get to meet the five Kage. You see them all sitting down. They're all arguing with each other. They're talking, you know, the you kind of see the dynamics between people who are in, like, such major power. And it's awesome to see. Um... And it goes to another level when Sasuke attacks the summit, you know, everyone's on edge, you know, you see all these cool abilities, you know, you see uh, the music Kage using Firestyle, you see the, the Raikage using his lightning armor, and he, you know, he's as fast as lightning, Sasuke uses Susano, um, you know, you see Danza being a piece of shit, you know, he's like trying to, uh, he's trying to become like the head of the, uh, the allied shinobi force. Um, by using Shisui's eye, yeah, he uses Shisui's eye, and yeah, he's, he's, I think it's, I can't remember, I think it's, is it Koda Matsukami? I don't think it's Koda Matsukami, but it's, it's some, yeah, he's using Genjutsu to try and, um, you know, persuade Mifune to make him the head of the alliance, which I thought was awesome, actually, and, you know, he gets caught out on it, you know, there's all sorts of chaos that goes on. And the cool thing is about this arc is it starts really, really slow, but then it picks up real quick, and then, like, there's just levels of just, um, you know, um, intensity. You know, if you're on Sasuke's side, you're like, oh, my God, what's going to happen to Sasuke? If you're on, you know, the, you know, you know the um, the Kage side, you're like, oh, my God, you know what? Are these guys going to get taken out? Um, yeah, awesome stuff all around. There's some cool abilities that we see as well, like Izanagi. Um, you know, yeah, Jugo, he goes level 2 curse mark, which is so cool to see, like, that was awesome, I mean, wow, I mean, I didn't think I'd, I would, you know, enjoy it as much as I did, but, you know, that was cool, um, and yeah, we see Sasuke going all out, um, as I, I think I just mentioned, um, but yeah, you know, a, a good arc all around, and also, uh, we see battles with B and Kisame, yeah, that's part of the arc as well, and that battle was cool, um, Sasuke and Danza, uh, go at it, which was awesome to see, um, and, and then, yeah, Toby, Toby, he, um, you know, he comes in, and he's basically, he declares war on basically the world, on the five Kage, which I thought was just, I thought that was so cool, I mean, He's basically just sitting there. They can't do anything about it. Like, he's just sitting there. They can't attack him because, you know, he can just phase through attacks. And, like, he's just, like, a boss in that situation. So that was cool. All right, we'll move on to the next one, which is the tune-in exams. So I think one thing that was really cool about this arc is that, um, you know, it's it's just after the... it's it's it, We basically jump right into the tune-in exams after the first arc. So they didn't waste any time. So I really, I think a lot of people probably appreciated that. But you know, the the I think all the leaf Genny that became uh, that passed, you know, the bell test, all of these Genny basically enrolled in the tune in exams. And we hear, you know, we hear Neji and you know Rockley and Ten Ten talking about it that this sort of thing hasn't happened for like five years. Like raw rookies entering into the tune in exams. And, like, there's, there's just so much hype about it all. Like, you know, you know, this is, like, insane what's going on. And they really hype it up, which is cool. And, you know, we get introduced into Kabuto shortly as well. Like, he, he basically explains what the tune exams is. And, I don't know, this is really awesome. Yeah, the, the way he does it and, you know, just his character and stuff. I mean, it was just really cool. Um, another thing that happened as well is, I thought, you know, Sakura going up going up against the sound Genin, I thought that was cool, like, because we never really see Sakura fight in this series, and here you are, Sakura basically up against it, she's up against three Shinobi, you know, three on one, you know, there's no way she can win, but I thought she does really, obviously she loses, but I thought she does really well in this situation. Um, you know, another cool part was Gar and Rock Lee, like, Rock Lee had no business fighting Gara, basically, I mean, even before the fight, you're thinking, you know, what's this guy going to do to Gara? But then he actually, you know, he's probably like the only person in the room that could have done as much damage to Gara. 
um, as as he as he did, which makes it so like which makes it so awesome. I'm using that word a lot, but you know, bear with me. Um, and yeah, like just just like because you wouldn't expect that. Like Gara is basically the strongest. He's not even Genin level. I think he's at least tuning level Gara at this stage. Maybe even the high tuning level, but somehow Rock Lee is able to do all this damage to him, and it's just for yeah, mind blowing. Um, I thought you know Sasuke suppressing the curse mark was cool. Like um, during his fight, he's severely handicapped, so you know anything anything a, a win would have been like you know like acceptable for Sasuke, and you know there's one point where he's using the the dancing leaf shadow. And the curse mark is, you know, about to take over. But then he suppresses it, and then he basically wins the battle after that. I thought that was, you know, the way that was done was just brilliant. Um, what else was cool? Yeah, the fight, Shino's fight was cool. Konkuro, Tamari, Neji, Dosu, all these, all these characters were cool. Um, and yeah, I think yeah, that's those are my thoughts on the arc. The last one I'm going to talk about is. The Sounding arc. Yes, this is surprising. Um, so it starts off with Itachi using Sukiyomi, which is probably the coolest ability in part one Naruto. And he basically takes out Kakashi in like a second. And I think this, I think, um, and before this, I think Orochimaru was the strongest character in the series. But then Itachi comes and just like shatters that barrier, which is like insane. Kisami, seeing Kisami was cool as well. Um, Itachi versus Sasuke, even though it was like a one battle stomp, like Itachi just destroys Sasuke. But it was cool kind of seeing them like kind of together in the in the same scene. Um, yeah, this is a big one. Naruto mastering the Rasengan. Because, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um... Oh, I'm just gonna have a bit of water first. Oh, all right, <clears throat> all right, that's better, <clears throat> sort of. All right, Naruto is. Oh, I think I'm losing my voice. All right, Naruto is supposed to be a loser <laughs> in the series, and you know a lot of characters mention it. Kabuto mentions it. I think I'm not sure Jirai mentions it, but he, I think he knows Naruto isn't a great ninja. Orochimaru, Orochimaru mentions it. Sasuke thinks Naruto's a loser. I think even everyone in his class thinks he's a this. This guy's complete, you know. You know, this guy has no nothing going for him. Um, and somehow he masters an a a super hard A rank technique, which was just like uh, I thought that was awesome to see. And even straight afterwards, Orochimaru is just like this kid has to die. <laughs> You know, and Reshimaru is saying that, that you know, it's a big deal. Um, I think, yeah, the next one, Sas Tsunade getting over hemophobia. I thought that was cool. Um, <clears throat> this is something that she struggled with pretty much her whole life, like literally decades, and, you know, she, she finally gets over it, so that was cool. Kabuto beats Tsunade and Shizune. Like, I knew Kabuto was, like, a sort of a strong character, but I didn't think he'd be able to take down Asani. And then Shizune, who's like, she's Jonin level, so you know, that that was impressive. Uh, Gamma Bunta versus Katsu and Manda, like you have three giant summonings just going at it, so that was awesome. Um, what happens? Oh yeah, Tsunade stabs Manda with a giant sword, <laughs> which is just mental. Like nobody should be able to do that, but somehow Tsunade can. And the last one I have here is Sonata uses the life and rebirth technique. So, um, basically a technique where you can kind of regenerate your cells um, and heal yourself. Um, yeah, you know, just awesome. Oh, like, this video is so long. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just wrap it up here.